Hello, in this video, you're going to learn how to put armor on your character in Unreal Engine 5. So I have the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin, and they're wearing some armor for their helmet, they're wearing some chest piece armor, they're wearing some trousers, and they're wearing some boots. In this video, you're going to learn how to do the same thing. And if you'd like to learn how to combine this armor system with an inventory system, so you have a character that you can drag and drop different armor onto them, check out my RPG inventory system course. In it, you'll learn how to make a modular and dynamic drag and drop inventory. With that said, let's get into the video. Hello, to get started, the first thing we're gonna do is import the armor that our player character is gonna wear. One important thing about the armor is it needs to be rigged to your character, otherwise it won't work. Don't worry if you don't have your own armor set, somewhere in the description of this video, I'm gonna provide a link to some armor which you can download. So. Next, let's import this armor. If we go over to our content folder, I'm just gonna right click and create a new folder. Just call this armor. Then I'm gonna go ahead inside here and I'm gonna right click again, create another new folder and I'll call this one mesh. Then we want to right click again and create another new folder and call this textures. Then head over to the files that you should have downloaded. And in those files, there should be two folders, one called mesh and one called textures. Head over to the textures folders first then head over to the textures folder inside of your project and just select all of the images here. So I'm holding shift on my keyboard and just drag them in here. Then head over to the mesh folder and we want to head over to the mesh folder here. And first just select the plate mail boots, the plate mail chest and the plate mail pants. Drag them in here. These are all rigged to the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin. So when we import them, we just want to select Scanton and select the SK mannequin. So make sure you select this one because it's the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin and this is the scan term that it uses. Then go import all. The helmet's not rigged to the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin because it doesn't really need to be. Next, we just want to select the plate mail helmet and just drag it into this folder and just go import. Okay, next, let's just set up the texture file for this because it comes with some um, nice looking textures. So we just right click on this um, base color and go create material, open it up, Drag in this metallic texture, this normal texture, and this roughness texture, and just connect them appropriately. So I'll connect this into the normal. I'll connect this into the metallic, and this into the roughness. And just go apply, close this, and then head over to the mesh folder. And we can just select the plate mail and change this to be the night underscore base color material that we just made and just make sure to do that for all of these um, meshes okay next we're going to make it so our player character can wear this armor the first piece of armor we're going to set up is going to be the helmet as it's going to be slightly different to all of the others so to set up my player character's helmet if i just go over to my characters folder to the mannequins folder then to the meshes folder then to the sk mannequins content and i'm just going to change the preview mesh to be the to be the SK Manny, because that's gonna be my character who's gonna be wearing this armor. Then just find their head socket. We can also just search here in the skeleton tree for head. Just select it, then right click again, and just go add socket, then double click, and just call this our helmet socket. Then we just wanna look here for the helmet socket, right click here, and then go add preview asset, then look for the plate mail helmet. Whoops. Then look for the plate mail helmet. And then we just want to rotate it and make it so it fits on our player character's head. Something like this. Okay, and one thing I'm actually noticing with this mesh is that the pivot point of this mesh is actually really off. To fix that, I can just simply drag this in and go over to modes here and change this to the modeling mode. Then go to X form and select edit pivot and I can just drag this up here. Then go accept and that allow me to easily change the pivot point of this mesh. And now I go back to selection mode and then if I just open up my um, mannequin scanton again and select the helmet socket, I have a lot more flexibility. So that's just a helpful tip that you may need to use in the future. 
Okay, so I'm happy with that. We can just save this, close it, then to basically attach this to my um, player character, I just want to go over to my third person folder, to the blueprints, to the third person character. Let's go over to the viewport. I'll select this mesh and I'll change it to be the SK many. Then with the mesh selected, let's go add and look for your static mesh. Just call this the helmet and make sure it's a child of the mesh. So if you just select your mesh and if I just drag it inside here, if it's underneath, then it'll be a child. Then we just want to go over to the parent socket and look for the helmet socket. Then for the mesh, just select the plate now, helmet. And as you can see, my player character will be wearing this helmet. The same would work with a hat or any other type of object. Then for the rest of my player character's armor, because it's going to be on his body, it actually needs to be rigged to him, otherwise it won't really work. So to set that up, we just want to select the mesh again, go add, and look for his skeletal mesh. Set the skeletal mesh, I just call this the chest, then right click again, duplicate this, and call this the legs, then right click again, duplicate this, and just call this the feet. Then if we just select the chest, we want to go up to skeletal mesh asset and select the plate mount chest. We're going to do the same for the legs, so I think it's called pants. Then we want to select the feet, and I think this is called boots. And as we can see right now, our character is not really wearing this. To make our player character wear this, we just want to go over to the construction script, drag in our mesh, drag up here, and look for set, leader, post component. And just make sure that this mesh is the new leader bone component. Right click on this target, then go break link. Then we'll drag in the feet, the legs, and the chest, and connect all of these into here and then the construction script into here. So this will basically load before our game's even started. Now if I just go compile and over to my viewport. And before we play, one more thing. If you just select your um, helmet mesh, scroll down and go to collision presets and make sure that this has no collision. Cause sometimes if this has collision, it can kind of mess with our player character's movement. So make sure it has no collision. And now if I just compile this, close this and go play, we can see I have my character and he's wearing some armor. Very nice. And if you'd like to learn how to basically make a more dynamic armor system where your player character can drag and drop certain pieces of armor and even equipment like sword and shields, make sure to check out my Unreal Engine RPG inventory system course. You'll learn how to make a completely modular and flexible inventory system. If that sounds of interest to you, make sure to check it out. It'll be somewhere in the description of this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and also comment below what type of tutorials you'd like to see me make. I'll try and make the most popular ones. And with that said, Bye.